Okay, I'm just going to give everybody just a couple more minutes to get here. Just posted the link one more time. And so we will get started momentarily. I just usually like to give everybody just a minute or two extra to get here. So sorry about all the screen and screen. Um, it just, I know it looks weird, but it's just the easiest way for me to get started. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, welcome to Summer Essential Oils for Moms. I am really excited to present this to you guys. And um, I know I got started using essential oils a year ago, and when I first got started, I didn't even know where to start. And so I'm hoping that this webinar will give you guys a good idea of where to start, especially for summer. There's an entirely different line of oils that I use, um, a lineup of oils that I use for summer versus ones that I use during the winter. And so I'm just going to run through that with you tonight. Um, if you guys have any questions, if you're on the Google Hangouts link, you, can, you are welcome to ask those questions. Um, and I'm super excited. And for those of you that are brand new, that just came off of the Facebook ad today, I will be sending you some information, and I'll be sending you some um, specials that I have going on right now. But there's been a lot of people inviting to this class tonight, and so um, if you guys have any questions on how to get these oils afterwards, Contact the person that invited you. In fact, the person that invited you is going to be following up with you just to make sure that you guys got all of your questions answered, just in case I missed something. So again, my name is Tiffany Durr. I'm a doTERRA wellness advocate. I have been doing this for, I'm, I'm a week out from being a, a full year that I've been doing this, and it has been amazing and fun. Oh, and I can tell I forgot to, I forgot to, let me silence my Facebook. I'm sorry, guys. That just drives me crazy when I just be beeps the whole time. So, there we go. Sorry about that. Switch back over here to the slideshow. Okay, so to me, dear to Terra Wellness Advocate, this is my family right here. I am a farmer's wife. This is my husband, Zeke, in the cowboy hat there. And we are raising two adorable little cowgirls, although, you know, I'm totally biased, but that's all right with me. Um, so this is my family, and um, I'm also a greenhouse manager at a nonprofit, not-for-profit research institution. And the amazing thing about that is that that has given me a lot of insight as to how to use essential oils against pests and how to use essential oils in gardening. I love using my oils in gardening. So I'll be going through just a little touching base on just a few of those tonight. I I should do a whole webinar on that. So if you guys are interested in something about just essential oils and gardening, give me a shout out, send me a message, and I will I'll put that together for you guys. So here we go. So here, I'm, at first, I'm going to go over some of the basics just so you guys know what an essential oil is in case you're brand new to this. And then I'll be going into details over the oils that you're going to want for the summer. So doTERRA is a therapeutic grade essential oil and a natural health care solution. Um, so what exactly is an essential oil? An essential oil is a natural aromatic compound that's found in plants. And um, they're either steam distilled or cold pressed. So um, these, these oils, when we're steam distilling them, they're actually steaming the leaves and the oils get caught on the steam and then they go up into this tube. And what happens is they then separate. The oil stays on top and the water plugs at the bottom and then they siphon off the oil part of it. And so that's how they're actually steam distilling them. When they're cold pressing them, that's what they're doing. They're pressing them until the oils come out. Um, cold press, we only do that on our citrus oils. Everything else is steam distilled. Um, essential oils are powerful, safe, and they're powerful and they have safe benefits without side effects. Although I must say, there are a few side effects, um, but they're all positive. Um, so when I first got started with essential oils, I got started mostly because my 
daughter, which I can go back and show you guys, this, the younger daughter right here, um, the one directly below me, she had the occasional UTI and it was, it was bad. There were a lot of them. And it was because of a medical condition that she has and it was just kind of a, a, a side effect of it. And so, um, she, it was miserable. And um, so what I did was I took some, when my friends gave me a little sample of lemongrass to try out to see if it would help support her system so that way she wouldn't have those UTIs as often. And so what I did was I rubbed it on her lower, lower abdomen and the bottom of her feet. And by the end of the week, I could tell she was feeling a lot better. It was really supporting her urinary tract system. And so um, by the end of the week, not only did she not have a UTI, she also potty trained. Um, so I was really excited about the essentials, essential oils right off. Now, when I first got started, I had no intention of selling. Um, but what happened is I'm really, I'm really into self-education. I'm big on podcasts. I love podcasts. So whenever I can be listening to something and doing something else, you know, multitasking, that's a mom thing. Um, so I was, I'd be multitasking and listening to podcasts. And the only podcasts I could really find on doTERRA essential oils were ones that had, we were talking about the business. But this one, my favorite one, um, always had an oil story at the end. And so I would listen through all the business stuff to get to that. Well, one day I noticed I was taking notes on the oil, on the business and not just the oils. And I was like, what am I doing? I'm not interested in the business. I keep telling my upline I'm not interested in the business. And all of a sudden a light bulb just went off. And I realized this could be it. This could be what I've been looking for. I've always wanted to be a positive change in the world. And this is how I get to be a positive change in the lives of others. And it just hit me that this was going to be my thing. I already work at a really awesome job. I wasn't looking for anything different. Um, but it's a nonprofit, so I get paid like a nonprofit. And so um, the extra income was something that was appealing, but really the chance to help other people was the most appealing part of it. And so that's how I got started with doTERRA. So that's what I was saying with the side effects. Now, um, Chevy, when she was using lemongrass all the time, it actually also helped with her dairy intolerance, um, which is amazing. It's amazing how, how these things can happen. Um, so essential oils in the plant, what they're actually used for in the plant, let's say that like somebody steps on the leaf or crushes the leaf, what those oils do is they just go over to that area on the plant and they help it heal itself. They, they heal itself, you know, then help either, either it decides that it needs to cut off that area or it decides that it needs to glue those areas back together. Anyways, so just that's what the essential oils are used for on the plant itself. So there's three different ways of using essential oils, which are important to know um, even throughout the summer is there's aromatically, and this is you can diffuse it into a room to purify the air or to change an emotion. Um, you can also just rub it on your hand and breathe it in. Um, the second way you can use it is topically. You can, um, anytime you're applying it directly onto your skin, you're using it topically. A lot of times throughout the summer, in these applications, we're using them topically. Um, and you guys will see that a little bit more as we go, go on. And the third way to use it is internally. Um, you can consume it as a dietary supplement for targeted wellness. Now, internally is not something you're going to want to do with any run-of-the-mill oil that you go buy off the, the shelves because there are no federal regulations on essential oils. So that means that those bottles that are in, like, Walmart that are for, like, a dollar, well, let me tell you, there's not much essential oils in there because it costs a lot more than a dollar to produce those oils. And so what they do is they only have to have – five to 10% essential oils, and the rest can be a filler, and then they can mark it as 100% pure essential oil. If you look on the back of those bottles, a lot of times they say, do not take internally, do not apply to skin, um, aromatic use only, and that's because it has these fillers, and we don't know what type of fillers it is. That's up to the manufacturer. So it's something that if you're going to do it internally, only do that with a certified pure therapeutic grade essential oil. Um, so essential oil safety, before we go any farther, I really want you guys to know safety first with essential oils. Um, very safe, they're gentle to use without any side effects, I already covered that, but you got to keep it out of your eyes, ears, and nose. Do not put it in those areas. If you do get it in those areas, you need to use some coconut oil to get it out, like in your eyes. In your ears and your nose, just 
don't even go there. Don't go close to that. Um, you want to dilute, you can dilute them with a vegetable oil. Don't dilute them with water because water and oil don't mix. And so when you're trying to put, like if you get some in your eye and you're trying to get it out with water, you're actually driving it deeper because water and oil don't mix. Um, for skin sensitivity, um, it's primarily a safety issue. So if, you know, if you have sensitive skin, use a carrier oil. Use, dilute with a vegetable oil, coconut oil, olive oil, vegetable oil, grapeseed oil. Those are all great oils you can use. Um, don't use baby oil. Baby oil actually clogs your pores, and so that's not very helpful. And then you want to follow all of the directions. You know, if it says to you only use it aromatically, only use it aromatically. Don't, don't be trying different things out. So um, aromatically, topically, internally are the application methods. The skin sensitivity, neat. That means that you can put it straight on the skin without diluting it. Um, sensitive for young and sensitive skin, you want to dilute it. And diluting it, again, I mean using the vegetable oil, the canola oil, you know, whatever you're using as a carrier oil. And if it has that D, the big red circle D, always, 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 always dilute. So um, like... Oregano. Oregano is a very, very, very hot oil. You do not want to put that directly on your skin. You always want to be diluting it before you're applying it topically. So why choose doTERRA essential oils? We're all moms. We all want the best for our kids, right? And why why is that doTERRA, right? That's what you got to be asking yourself. Why doTERRA? Well, let me tell you. doTERRA is certified pure therapeutic grade essential oils. So they're pure, natural, no artificial ingredient, ingredients, fragrance, or fillers. So when you buy a bottle of doTERRA essential oil, it's 100% pure. There's nothing else in it besides what came straight from the plant. Um, it is safe. It's they're certified to be free of pesticides and other chemical residues. Um, we, everything that we do goes through strict testing. They go through five different testings, gas chromatographs, and max and mass spectrometer are two of the tests that we do. And what those do is those tell you exactly what chemical compounds are in that oil. And if the, if the oil we test every single batch, if that batch does not meet our blueprint to 98%, then it gets thrown out, okay? So we know what's in these. If these were not, if these had a pesticide in them, we'd be able to tell that would show up right away in that mass, in the uh, mass spectrometer. So, we know what's in these oils and we know that they are using them the same because if you buy a bottle of lavender, you want it to work the exact same way every time. You don't want to be questioning whether or not it's working. Um, so they're potent. Um, standardized act active compounds. Okay, so I've had a very personal experience using other essential oils versus doTERRA essential oils. Um, like I mentioned before that I work in, or I still work in a greenhouse. And so, um, we had a spider mite outbreak, and we try to be as organic as we can be in the greenhouse. And what happened was uh, the, the spider mites came in and took over, and I had used everything organic that I possibly could, and the next step up was a um, commercial chemical. It was $300 for 10 ounces. Yeah, $300 for 10 ounces of it, and it was a known carcinogen. I didn't want it in my work area. I didn't want to be around that every day. I didn't want my fellow employees to be around that, my fellow coworkers to be around that every day. And so I decided to do one last ditch effort, do one more Google search and see if I could find something. And what I found was rosemary essential oil. I found a website that says you could use rosemary essential oil. So I found I could just run into town and get some. So I, I ran in and I got some rosemary essential oil. I came back and I sprayed the um, bench. I sprayed one bench because you know I got to do a test bench. I can't kill a bunch of plants if this rosemary oil kills them. And it was amazing. By the end of the week, there were no spider mites on that bench, and I was thrilled. I was so excited. But I still had 12 more benches of plants with a whole bunch of spider mites on them to, to spray. So I went back in. I bought the entire our local town out of rosemary essential oils out of two different stores, and I came back, opened up that next bottle dumped it in just like I was supposed to, just like I did the first time, and it did nothing. If anything, the population boomed, and I was like, what in the world? What the heck's going on? And so I I was really heartbroken, honestly, because I hear I thought I found my miracle. Um, so 
what happened was I went ahead and I got some, I went ahead and opened up the next bottle because heck, I just bought our local town out of it's rosemary essential oils and I had a lot emotionally invested into it. I really wanted it to work and I sprayed again and it kind of worked and then the next bottle I opened up really worked. And so what I found is the bottles were so inconsistent. Sometimes they work great, sometimes it kind of works, sometimes it definitely would not work at all. And um, it was just so inconsistent. And so after I went to my first doTERRA essential oils class, I learned about the certified pure therapeutic grade essential oils and all the testing that um, doTERRA does. And so in the, in the girl's driveway of the class that I went to, I emailed the company that I've been buying my essential oils to. And I said, okay, what's the difference in between your oils and doTERRA essential oils? What type of testing are you doing on your oils? And they were, they were so honest. I'm still amazed. They were just honest with me that it's great. I'm really glad they were. They said, well, yeah, doTERRA does a lot of testing on theirs. And we don't. We just check and um, if we just smell them, and if they smell good enough, then we send them out the door. We're more of a fragrance than we are um, the the type of those types of essential oils. And so I was shocked, and I decided those oils were coming nowhere near my children because I had just found, learned that essential oils could be beneficial to our family. I had no idea until then. I thought you could just use them for pest management. Um, and so I know I was so naive, right? <laughs> Um, and so anyways, that's that's kind of my story, and that's that's why we now, in our greenhouse, we now use doTERRA essential oils, and I use a fourth, not, I'm not even a fourth of the amount that I was using when I was using the um, other brand of essential oils. So anyways, that's enough about that. Let's get down to the summer oils. Number one that you're going to want for the summer, um, summer brings out a lot of bugs, right? Yes, all the bugs. And so what you're going to want is some Terra Shield. And Terra Shield is amazing. It can be used to um, get rid of, to keep mosquitoes off of you, to keep word off those pasky insects. You can you can put it on your neck before you go out, your arms, legs, and neck. And before going outdoors, you can diffuse it on your patio to ward off pesky insects. Um, Terra Shield, now, I don't know about you guys, but here in Kansas, the mosquitoes are really bad. And sometimes the Terra Shield isn't quite enough. So in my mixture, um, I, I actually mix this with water. Now, if you're mixing with water, you know water and oil don't mix, so you really have to shake it up every time you go to use it. Um, but it's just an, an easier way to spread it. So I add a little bit of witch hazel and some water to a four-ounce um, glass bottle, because with essential oils, Essential oils recognize plastics as toxins, and it tries to attack it. And we we don't want that, right? We don't want to be spraying toxins on our body. And so you want to use glass or stainless steel. Stainless steel is great, too. Stainless steel is a little bit better when you're going camping. Um, so I put it in there, and I put about 20 drops of Terra Shield, 20 to 30 drops of Terra Shield. And then I also do um, – I add a little bit of lavender, add witch hazel, and um, cedarwood. So that's my own personal recipe. You can play around until you get yours, get the smell that you want, get the coverage that you want. Um, cedarwood is actually really amazing at, at um, helping this Terra Shield to really keep those pesky insects off of you. So that's what I do for mixed in. And um, you should take this camping. You can use it straight out of the bottle. You totally can. And sometimes, a lot of times that works amazing. It's just when the mosquitoes get so thick, they're so desperate to eat that they'll even go through the terrace shield. Um, so this is really amazing. This is one of the ways you can really avoid some nasty chemicals. Seed has a lot, I mean, it's a poison. That's you literally poisoning yourself. That's why the mosquitoes don't come to you. Now, I've, I've loved off. I was a big off fan for years until I started using Terra Shield, and now I can't stand the smell of off. I I never could stand the smell. I couldn't stand it. How it made me feel that sticky feeling. Um, and so Terra Shield, I get to smell yummy while the bugs don't like me. So this is one that you're going to want to keep in your back pocket. You really want to have this one for summer to really help with the bugs. So the second one that I'm going to talk about tonight is lavender. Lavender is all things calming. So if you're thinking about that, all things calming. What happens during summer is not so calming. We're out in the sun and we forget our sunscreen or we forget to reapply our sunscreen and we get sunburnt. So this really helps with that relief, sunburnt 
relief. It is amazing. I love using lavender for sunburn relief. Um, I mix it with a little bit of um, coconut oil and then I just spread it on. And, oh, it feels so good. Um, you can apply it topically to soothe skin irritations. So, you know, any type of skin irritations that you got going on. Um, my girls, well, I'm going to talk about this in a second, but my girls love lavender. You know, any scrapes, bumps, anything that they get throughout the summer, you know, kids fall down, they're outside playing, they get their feet cut up on the grass because they're running around barefoot, at least mine do. My kids are, I can't ever keep shoes on my kids. Uh, so anyways, I put this lavender on it and it really helps calm those, those, you know, that stinging sensation. Um, you want to keep it on hand for campfire burns. And in fact, I've seen this firsthand, but it wasn't a campfire burn. Um, this poor little girl accidentally poured hot water down her front. And this was during the winter. It was hot cocoa. And so um, we just immediately grabbed the lavender and put it on. And it really helps soothe. It takes that stinging sensation away. Um, so it's just something nice to have with you. You know, if you're out in the woods camping and you get burned, it's it's a lot easier just to keep these oils with you and just apply them right away. Um, you can apply immediately to help calm the reaction to bug bites. Mm, yeah, my daughters, this is what really sold me on lavender last year. Um, one of my daughters was, in, was a flower girl for a wedding, and she woke up from nap time and had this huge mosquito bite in her nose. I don't even know where it came from. I don't even know how she got it, but that's what she, how she woke up. And so, you know, of course, she has pictures here in a little bit. So I take and I put some lavender oil on it, and within two to three hours, that was completely gone. You, you can look at the pictures. You can't even tell she had a big bug bite. Um, so this lavender really helps with those bug bites and those skin irritations. Now, one of the things you can do, and I, I just learned this researching for this class, and so I'm going to start trying this, is you can mix lavender 50-50 with peppermint, and then you can spritz it on for, like, sunburn relief or, um, you know, if you're feeling overheated, any type of irritants that you're having in your skin. It's just that peppermint gives you that immediate cooling sensation on top of it. So it really helps with any types of burns. Um, so that's one thing you can also try. I sure will be trying it. So Melaleuca. Melaleuca is first aid for the skin. Um, it's really good at soothing the skin, even bee sting. So um, if you apply this immediately after bee sting, it, it takes that stinging sensation out. Now, lavender, yeah, I said you can use that for bug bites, but this is specific to bees. You know, that really, really hurts when you get stung by a bee. Um, and so keeping that melaleuca with you will help. Um, applying it to scrapes and cuts and other summer bumps. Uh, I don't know. You guys already told you about my poor kids' feet when they run around. Um, but, you know, kids fall down. They get hurt. This is really good. This is another really good one to keep on you. Um, it's also really good for rashes. I don't have that on here, but rashes, Melaleuca is your best friend. Um, it really helps get rid of those different types of rashes. You can apply it to your feet and your toenails after showering and swimming or working out. Um, just to help keep, you know, keep everything clean, especially if you're going and working out somewhere or, you know, the swimming pool. This, you can pick up all kinds of nasty fungus and this just really helps keep your feet super clean. Peppermint. Now, peppermint is a really great one for summers. Um, it's cool and invigorating. So my number one favorite thing about peppermint is it's really good at keeping spiders and ants away. We actually, we just got through mopping our whole house because my daughters found a spider. And so, yeah, a spider. Actually, it was two. We found a couple spiders. And so what we did was we mixed the peppermint in our mop water and then mopped the entire floors, and it really helps keep those spiders away. Ants can't stand it. Actually, after working in the greenhouse, I noticed most pests do not like peppermint. Mice don't like it. Um, most, yeah, most pests, whatever type of pests you're doing, you're dealing with, try peppermint first. And I've sprayed this on plants. I mix it up. I don't apply it directly to the plant, but I, I dilute it and mix it up, and then I spray it on the plants, and it works really well at keeping the pests down. Um, you can add it to your drinking water to cool down. So you know, if you're outside, it's really hot. This just really adds, you know, a way that you can cool down from the inside out. Um, you can add it to water in a spray bottle and mix it over your body when you're overheating. Um, 
and just helps really cool down that skin quickly. Peppermint just it, the cooling sensation is just amazing. It's yeah, I just can't even say enough about how how nice it is, especially when you get super hot. It just helps cool yourself down. Um, so apply you can apply it to the neck and then forehead for with lavender to calm the tension. Okay, moms, let's be honest here for a second. Sometimes the kids just drive you a little bit bonkers through the summer. And so, you know, you get those tensions. And if you just mix up a little bit of peppermint with lavender and you put it on, it helps calm you and your nerves and it helps cool you off and it feels amazing. I do this. I honestly do this sometimes when I'm just like, wow, kids, please stop. I mean, I love my children to death. Don't get me wrong. But you know, sometimes they just do things that kids can do. So, enough about that. Deep blue. Now, this is more for the moms um, or your sports players. You know, a lot of baseball is going on throughout the summer. Um, you know, extra extracurricular activities. You guys are out running around playing a little frisbee golf or, um, you know, whatever you're out there playing. You can pull muscles. <laughs> Especially when you play with those youngsters. Heaven knows I've done it. So you can apply this um, directly to the occasional tired joints. You can rub it on the muscles before and after exercise to reduce discomfort. Man, does it ever. This deep blue, when they say deep, they mean deep. It is deep penetrating. It really helps get in there and loosen up those muscles. And it's just, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just so amazing. So when you're out hiking and playing with the kids, you know, straining your muscles, this is a good way to, to help them. Um, or last night, we actually went to the park and we were playing on the monkey bars. Holy cow, have you guys done that? I've not done that since I was a kid. And it really, my shoulders hurt. It was crazy. So just add a little deep blue to myself and went about my day. So that's enough about me being out of shape. <laughs> okay, so breathe. Now, this is one most people think of as a winter blend, um, this respiratory support. But it really helps. You know, if you're out there um, and you, you know, allergy season, it's it's here. There's a lot of seasonal allergies going on right now. And so this really helps open up those airways. You can apply it topically to maintain a clear, open airway. So if you're going out somewhere, you're going for a hike somewhere, and you usually have them pass you know, go ahead and put a little bit of breeze on you. Put it on your chest, put it on your feet. It just really helps open up for those seasonal respiratory discomforts. Um, so breathe is another good one to have on hand, um, especially for those those kiddos. You know, some of those kiddos just can't, can't breathe as well when they're outside. And so this just helps really open up for those seasonal respiratory discomforts. Um, digest then. Now, you know, your kids are running around. <laughs> they they eat and then they run around some more. And sometimes it just is a little bit hard on that digestive system. Um, I have, of course, I have a six year old and a three year old, and I've, it's happened more than once already this summer where they'll eat a whole bunch and then they'll go run outside and they just get an upset tummy from it. It's just too much. And so you can rub it on their stomach to ease that digestive com discomfort, whether that's nausea, motion sickness. You know, whatever, whatever other digestive issues you can think of. Um, you can take internally at mealtime to help support healthy, comfortable digestion. And apply to the bottom of the, of the feet for children to help ease digestive issues. That's how I like to use it the most. It, it has, it has a, an interesting smell to it. Um, it has that fennel smell to it. You guys know what fennel smells like, which is, a fennel's amazing. It's so good for you. Um, and so this just really helps ease those digestive issues. Um, so fractionated coconut oil. Now, I'm sure a lot of you were not expecting this to be on my list, right? It's coconut oil. But this is a must. You've got to keep this with you. You know, if you're out camping and you get some essential oils in your eye, you need some break, some for instance, I'm sorry, some fractionated coconut oil to help you get that out. You know, you can't, it, it hurts, it burns. And also if you're, if you get a sunburn and you just have your little bottle of lavender, you need to be able to dilute that and use that on your skin to really help it go as far as you want it to go. So um, 
you know, if you have skin sensitivity, then you you want fractionated coconut oil to be with you at all times. Essential oils are powerful, man. You gotta you gotta respect them. So this this is a good way to help you respect them is with a little bit of fractionated coconut oil. Just have that on hand at all times. I cannot stress that enough. Okay, with doTERRA, you are in control. As a mom, sometimes we just really feel like it's out of control. I know when I first found the essential oils, I felt, I felt like that. You know, I was at the mercy of the doctor's office. And, you know, when you're out camping and you're out doing things, you don't want to have to call the doctor's office for every scrape and bump or, you know, your sunburn. Or you don't want to turn to chemicals to, you don't want to put poison on your children to help keep the mosquitoes away. Or, you know, if a bug bite starts to swell up, you can try this first. I'm not saying don't go to your doctors. Please go to your doctors. I, I have a very good relationship with my doctor and um, with my children's pediatrician and he knows that I use essential oils and when the essential oils don't work, I go to him. So it's, it's, I never, never, never want to advocate against going against your doctor. Always listen to your doctors. Um, but this just helps you take a little bit more control, especially when you're in those situations where medical care is not right there. This is something that you can do as a first response until you get to medical attention if that needs to be you know what you need to do you know essential oils can do a lot they're amazing but if you break your arm essential oils can't do everything right so just use common sense with essential oils but it is empowering i just i can't even tell you guys how empowering it is to have these oils in our lives so when a lot of people sign up and start getting start getting going with doTERRA, they want to share with their friends. And actually, I'm pretty sure this slide is out of order. <laughs> but yeah, um, we'll just skip that one and we'll go on to this way. So there's four different ways to purchase doTERRA essential oils. Now that you guys know about the oils, um, know about the summer oils, you know, I'm going to back up just a couple of slides here. I forgot to tell you about one oil that is not on here. Um, and that's Purify. I think I may have accidentally hit it from my slideshow, but that's all right. I'm not going to go back now. So Purify is also another really good one for using for bug bites. It's also really good for cleaning your house, but um, it was kind of unintended. The terror didn't really know that this was going to be something that the Purify would be really good for. But it's really good for also taking the stings out of the bug bites. So if you try lavender, because everybody's body chemistry is different. If you try lavender, it doesn't help. If you try Maluka, it doesn't help. Go ahead and try it. Um, purify to see if that helps with that bug bite irritant. Um, I should have looked at my notes as we went through this, but I think I hit most things. I think that was the main thing that I missed. So we're going to skip that slide again. So now that you guys know about these essential oils, you're probably wondering, well, where in the world do I get these at? Um, you know, there's, <laughs> there's four different ways to get your oils. Um, there's retail. But honestly, who wants to do retail? Everybody, want, everybody wants to get them cheaper, right? And um, everybody buys essential oils, who buys essential oils through doTERRA, they want to sign up with their wholesale account. And that's because you're saving 25% below retail. It's a $35 enrollment fee, and then you get everything at the wholesale price. So if you're somebody who likes to save, you want to sign up with your wholesale account. Now, signing up with a wholesale account does not in any way mean that you need to sell doTERRA. That's only if you choose to. So there's, so once you sign up with your wholesale account, there's three different ways to get involved. There's the saver. That's somebody that just wants to save money and use the oils in their home. And so there's that $35 enrollment fee, and then you get everything at the wholesale price. Now, most of the oils that I talked about tonight, minus Purify and Terra Shield, are in our essential oil kits, our enrollment kits. And when you buy them in a kit, oh, my goodness, are you saving money. So if you're a super saver, you really want to look into these kits. Um, there's several different kits. There's the Family Physicians Kit, and this is just $150, and it gets you started with 11 different essential oils. Lavender, Melaleuca, Frankincense, um, Oregano, Breathe, Digest Then. You know, most of the oils that I covered tonight are all in this kit. I didn't, Deep Blue is in there. Um, I don't know why all of a sudden I'm having a hard time remembering them all off the top of my head. But those are all oils that 
you can do or that um, are in that family physician's kit. I know these oils that are in the kit, but for some reason, there's just not one of the times at the moment. Um, but anyways, so those are all ones, that, or that's the first kit that you can get started with. The next step up, which is my favorite kit to get started with, and that's because a lot of people who buy the, the um, family physician's kit call me and say, Tiffany, why did you let me buy that family physician's kit? It was only $100 more to get the home essentials kit, and I would have gotten a lot more oils. Because in that family physician's kit, those bottles are only 5 milliliters. In the home essentials kit, they're 15 milliliters. So the next step up is the home essentials kit. And that has your basic essential oils in it. Um, it has your deep blue. It has the oregano. It has um, the lavender, the melaleuca, the frankincense, the on guard, which we did not touch on, but it is a really good oil to have on hand. Um, it also has um, lemon. Lemon, I do want to, for summer, I do want to put a little PSA out here. Lemon is photosensitive. So do not apply that to your skin and then go outside because it's photosensitive and it can burn you. So you want to be really careful with lemon. Um, so lavender, okay, I'm just going to go over them one more time. Uh, for the ones that are in the Home Essentials Kit, is lavender, lemon, peppermint, melaleuca, oregano, frankincense, deep blue, breathe, digest them, and on guard. So those are all in that Home Essentials Kit. Okay? Um, and that Home Essentials Kit, it also comes with a diffuser. So the thing about the kits, you guys, that I don't know if I said before or not, <laughs> I kind of lost my train of thought when I couldn't remember all the oils in the um, Family Physicians Kit. When you enroll with an enrollment kit, that $35 enrollment fee is then waived. So you don't need to worry about that anymore. Um, so, and with this Home Essentials Kit, it comes with a diffuser. It comes with the pedal diffuser, which is a really nice diffuser. And it covers about 300 square feet. So that's all in that um, Home Essentials Kit. So you will be getting started. You will be ready for summer. You would just need to add, I honestly, I would add some Terra Shield to that. You, you really should have some Terra Shield for the summer. But Terra Shield is like, it's nine dollars. Okay, so it's nine more dollars to get your Terra Shield, and you are saving a lot of money with that Home Essentials Kit. It's, that bundle, you're saving eighty-seven dollars in that bundle alone. So that's a good way to get started. Um, the next step up, let's say you want to clean out your medical cabinet and you want to start all over with natural solutions that are really going to benefit your family, and you want your Terra Shield and your Purify to come in the kit. Well, here you go. The next step up is the Natural Solutions Kit. And the Natural Solutions Kit, it is amazing. It's probably one of my absolute favorite kits. If it's a kit, if you're not going to go all the way up to an every oil kit or buying every single product that doTERRA has, the Natural Solutions Kit is a perfect fit for you. It has a box that you can put all your oils in. It has um, several different oils that are not in the other two kits. It has the Aroma Light Diffuser. I love the Aroma Light Diffuser. The Aroma Light Diffuser actually covers a thousand square feet. So it's really does a good job of covering you know a big area. It has our lifelong vitality pack in it, which um, I'm not going to touch on that much today, but I just want you to tell you if you are really interested in learning more about your health and really taking care of your body, you should really get on lifelong vitality. Um, it's one of my favorite products that doTERRA sells. And it has a 30-day money back guarantee. You can send those back um, and get your money back um, even if you send the bottles back completely empty. So, and they've only had, I think, last I heard it was like 40 people that have ever sent that, those back. Um, so they are amazing. So that's enough about the vitamins. The vitamins are in it, the toothpaste is in it. It just has a lot of really good things in it to really help you start and get rid of the chemicals in your life and hop into this natural solutions way of living. So that's the natural solutions kit. Easy peasy, huh? Okay, the next step up, let's say that throughout this you're like, yeah, those are all good oils, but I want every single oil that doTERRA has to offer. Well, you can do that. That is called an every oil kit, okay? And with the every oil kit, you're getting every single oil doTERRA has. You're getting fractionated coconut oil, which remember, I said how important fractionated coconut oil is. Fractionated coconut oil also comes in the natural solutions kit, just FYI. Um, so this every oil kit, and it comes with that aroma light diffuser. 
So let's say you've been sitting here and you're like, ah, I want to go all in. You guys have so many amazing products. I want every single product that Tara has to offer. Well, you can do that. That's called our diamond kit. And I love the diamond kit. It's amazing. You are saving $700. Okay, so you're saving $700. And then I'm going to go over the loyalty rewards program here in just a second. But just bear with me. So when you do a 100 PV LRP order next month, which is easy to do, you're going to need to refill on your supplements anyways. Um, then you're getting another 400 PV, which is really close. If you're doing oils, it's, a, it's $400 worth of oils free the following month. So you're saving $1,100 with that kit. So if it's something you really, if you're ready to start your lifestyle over with this, you know, with natural solutions, that diamond kit is an amazing investment. Um, so, but there is, there's a kit for every budget. So whatever works best for you, we just want to help you get started with doTERRA essential oils. Um, so there's 40 different ways to get involved. I've said this, I'm getting back to it. Sorry, I kind of, I got really excited about the kits. I love telling people about the kits because you can just save so much money. Um, so as a saver, you can also do our LRP program and that's called the Loyalty Awards program. And that's like a frequent flyer miles program for doTERRA. So when you're ordering monthly, then you are receiving free product. You can get the free product of the month when you're doing 125 PV a month. And also what you're doing is, so for your first three months, you're ordering monthly, you're getting 10% back in free product points that you can use, you can choose to use on whatever you want to use it. So for those first three months, you're getting 10% back. So let's say you're doing, we're just going to make it really easy. We're going to say $100, which is, you're doing $100 worth of oil, which is 100 PV. So you're doing $100, then you're getting $10 back, okay? So then the second three months, it jumps up to 15%. So $100, $15 back, right? Okay, so then you're jumping up to 20, and then 25. Then after you've been doing it for a full year, you're getting 30% back. 30% people, so for every $100 you're spending, you're getting $30 back in free PV, and you can let that accumulate, or you can use it off every time you get it. Um, so it's an amazing program. That's how I get those more expensive, the investment oils like Eucalyptus and frankincense. That's how I get them for free. I never pay for them. They're way expensive. And so this is just a way to get them absolutely for free. And um, so that's what that loyalty awards program. So um, you can be a saver, but let's say that you've been sitting here and you're like, oh my goodness, I know five different moms that also should know about this. Well, then you need to step then you can step up and you can be a share. And there's a lot of benefits to being a share. You can start getting your product free. You start supplementing your income at this point. And um, so to, to be a share, you do need to be doing that loyalty rewards program order of 100 PV a month. And so that just tells doTERRA that you're in it and you, you want to um, earn money with doTERRA. That's simply, that's all it is. And so that's how you can do it, being a share. Now the next person, is somebody like me who wants to build the business. I was striving to be a positive change in other people's lives with doTERRA essential oils. And so to do that, all you need to do is you need to tell us. Now, our team is actually amazing. I got way lucky. You know, at first I told you I had no interest in selling, so I wasn't paying attention to what team I got on. I just happened to get lucky and get on the best team in doTERRA. They literally put hundreds of thousands of dollars back into their business and their business partners, like myself, we benefit from that. We get education nobody else gets. We get um, extra incentives tossed our way. We get extra you know, free product from them personally. It is amazing. I absolutely love our team. And so if that's something you're interested in, now, honestly, it's not going to change our lives. Whatever you choose is fine. That is fine. But if you're interested in doing the business, please let us know right away right after you enroll, or even actually tell us before you enroll. Um, and then we will be able to place you differently so that way you're getting the best possible mentoring. Um, so we would love to have any of you join our team, whether you just want to save money and we will provide you the best customer support, or if you want to share and start getting your product for free. I mean, who doesn't like free product, right? Or if you want to build a business and run with me and with our team, then that's also a possibility. Now, several different people invited tonight, and so I just want to say, go back to the person that invited you. In fact, they've all been told that they will follow up with you. Um, unless you were invited by somebody that isn't a doTERRA wellness advocate already, then I will follow up with you. Um, so wellness advocate, 
You get 25%. Just going to re go through this one more time so you guys understand what I'm talking about with the doTERRA wellness advocate. And I did put the diamond kit on here um, just because it's fun to look at all the products that doTERRA has to offer. Um, and somebody might be interested in that. You guys might really want that diamond kit. I mean, who doesn't want every single product that doTERRA has to offer? I know I do. Okay, so you get 25% off the discount. Um, or 20, oh, geez, I'm sorry. You get 25% off retail prices. You get, um, when you're doing those uh, LRP orders, you're getting 10 to 30% back in loyalty rewards product credits. So, and you can use that on whatever you choose. Um, you can sponsor other wellness advocates. You can earn sales and commissions. You get a personalized website. And um, that's every single person that signs up. If you just tell, you know, Joe Schmo about the Terra Essential Oils and you have a wholesale account, you can send them directly to your retail website and earn money off of that. Um, we have a lot of free online tools and special promotions. And speaking of special promotions, I have a little extra something for you guys. So with doTERRA this month, um, there are four oils that are not even available any other way. You cannot buy these oils, except for this one little way. And I'm going to tell you guys how you can get those. So you can get those oils. When you start with a Home Essentials Kit or above, or 200 PV, just pay attention to the PV volume of your order, start with 200, then you're getting tangerine, dill, spearmint, and cumin absolutely free. And that, if you already have an account and you haven't taken advantage of that this month, oh my goodness, make sure you get in on this. That spearmint, oh, it's so, it smells so good. And the tangerine, I just made some fruit dip with that tangerine, it's delicious. And the cumin, oh my goodness. Tacos, I put it in tacos. It was so good. It was so good. It made it so much more tasty. And then the dill, I have not used the dill yet, but I will. You bet you, I will. Um, so anyways, these are all ways that you can use these essential oils. And doTERRA does not sell them. The only way to get them is to place a 200 PV order this month. This month. So that's, you know, you got eight days to place that order. Um, and then, since everybody on this is going to be on my team in some form, and um, everybody who places that 200 PV order in June is entered into drawing for a free Aroma Light Diffuser and Barrage Skincare Set. Now, these are two of my favorite products that are not the oils themselves. And of course, those are my absolute favorite products, but these are two things that I love. Um, that Aroma Light Diffuser, like I said before, covers a thousand square feet. We actually have those all throughout the greenhouse. And they're, the, they're my favorite diffusers to use around my house as well. And then the Virage skincare system, amazing, you guys. It's so luxurious. It's helped get rid of my crow's feet. I love the Virage skincare system. So since those were two of my favorite oils, I did, or two of my favorite oils, two of my favorite products, I decided to give them away this month because I'm celebrating my nearly year anniversary with selling doTERRA essential oils. And so for my 11th month, I really wanted to do an extra something special for all my customers. So every 200 PV order. So if you put in more than one 200 PV order in June, then you are getting more than one entry into this drawing. Now for the sensational flavors, you can do up to four. You can do that up to four times um, to get these oils right here. So that's all I have for you guys tonight. Um, like I said, I will be following up with everybody or the person that invited you will be following up with you just to make sure you don't have any questions um, and just make sure that you you got all of your questions answered. Um, I'm going to see if there were any questions tonight so far. Um, and I don't, I don't see any over here. Um, nope, I'm not seeing any right now. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for attending tonight. Um, I am super excited to really help you guys with this. And like I said, if you guys are interested in a gardening one, let me know, and I'll, I'll get that set up. I'm, I'm going to try doing these webinars um, maybe once a week, at least every other week. So please, if you're interested, you have a topic that you want me to talk about, please let me know. I, I really love doing this, and I love sharing doTERRA essential oils. I just I can't get enough of it. So thank you so much. You guys all have a wonderful evening.